as we've been drinking MMA. We are breaking down the UFC Fight Night Barbosa Yusuf fight card. This is the third fight on the prelims. It's Chris Gutierrez versus, I'm going to try and pronounce his name, it's Alatin Gili uh, from China. And it's at bantamweight, 135 pounds. My pick as a backhand is going to be Chris Gutierrez. My pick is Chris Gutierrez. I think this fight is actually going to go all three rounds. Uh, it's, uh, they're both defensive fighters. Yeah. They they're not first to punch. Mm-hmm. Even when you they hurt somebody, they're not quick to for the kill. So um, yeah, um, Chris Gutierrez likes to do that spinning flare stuff. Yep. He does a lot of feints with like uh, f- fake punching and then the hip twists that he does for the fake kicks. Mm-hmm. Like these guys aren't volume strikers. Yeah. These guys aren't power strikers. Um, what do you, what, what yeah. else? Um, do do these guys grapple a lot? Not really. Not really. Um, so it's going to be a defensive like in out yeah. one two, maybe a grapple grapple against a fence push off one two one I see, two. I see a Le- Alatin Gili going forward, contr- taking the center of the octagon. Gutierrez likes to back up. And, yeah, and he be, likes that outside. He likes the outside and and tried to counter here and there, but really mostly just leg kicks. Legs kick. Yep. Love leg kicks. He loves those kicks in general. <laughs> he's he used to be kind of like doing everything, and now it's just like he's just zeroed in on the leg kicks. When he starts throwing again, you know it's gonna be a good good thing for Gutierrez fans. But right now he's just really just throwing those leg kicks, and then he does a little hip. Uh, hesitations, the um, you know the hip feints, like he's gonna go through for the kick, and then he kind of fakes you out, and then he goes for the leg kick, and he's fast. Good here is as fast, I would say, backing up and stuff. But uh, Alton Gili a little bit slower going forward, and that's why Gutierrez is going to be able to kick him uh, all night. And Alton Gili kind of stands a little close, but also at the same time he's defensive. So like like Lazzy said, it's kind of one of those fights where non-committal. It yeah. is kind of like the the theme of the of this fight is of how it's gonna go. I feel because Alatin Gili, even though he has some power, doesn't throw that much enough. He throws some combinations here and there, and then he'll just kind of all of a sudden be defensive for like half a round. And just like, kinda... I don't have like enough confidence to put money on this fight. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. But like, yeah. If if I were to be Gutierrez and going the distance, Gutierrez by decision. Yeah. Yeah, and. Again, it's going to be good to see the prices. Let's see the prices. I mean, this fight got announced recently because Gutierrez on his last fight um, it got canceled. Yeah. Uh, I think Montel Jackson pulled out from an injury or something. And, and so Gutierrez, you know, uh, you know, so uh, he just got booked. And this is two weeks later, a week later, and now he's got another fight booked. So it's a short fight on short notice. A fight on short notice is always dangerous because he hasn't been preparing for this new fighter. It's a Two weight cuts. Two weight cuts is dangerous. A new short fighter. amount of time like that. Man. So, yeah, I mean, this is one of those fights where it, there's so many question marks that not really much reason to put it on the parlay even, not e- not much reason to put any money on it for, for me or Lousy. So we're like, all right, let's just kind of see how it goes. And maybe a live bet if you can see kind of like, you know, Gutierrez adapting well. But overall, it's going to probably the price is going to be too high anyway. So this is kind of a weird card right here just because, you know, a lot of distance bets and, and, and this fight is, is just a short notice type of weird fight. So, you know, another situation, we're just going to let it go probably. So, yeah, if you aren't comfortable with uh, betting a certain fight, if you are betting, yeah, just don't bet it. Yeah. Just let it go. I think the main thing is, is that in investing in general, it's kind of like it's not about the money you make. It's about the money that you keep. Yeah, that's right. You know, you don't want to lose money unnecessarily on fights that you're just un- unsure about. Like Lousy last week was saying on the Murata fight, that let's see if both of our arms are good. That left arm was was broken from the previous fight from Janderoba, and you know the the arm wasn't looking that great. You know, so you could just ditch the bet, and she ended up. You know, some people thought she won. I thought she won, obviously, but the judges scored it for the other woman. And and it, just in general, though, when you only have one arm confident with it, it's kind of tough to put money on a fighter like that. So sometimes it's good to just live bet or just stay away from it because it's just gonna lose you money rather than be a good situation, good position for you to make money. So it's about keeping your money and not losing yeah, it necessarily. Like, like for poker, like you don't lose what you don't put in the middle. Right. You know Mike I mean? McDermott said that from yeah. Rounders. Rounders. And it's a legendary line that's totally yeah. true in all forms of investing. So that's the main thing is that that's, that's, I think, I think that's what we're all focused on is trying to keep our money. We, you know, we're going to make money on certain great style matchups. You know, our, you know, Carolina Kowalkowicz last week, we were very uh, high on her. She won 30, 27 on all the mm-hmm. scorecards. Mm-hmm won all three rounds, you know, so, you know, you can make money on those fights, but it's the fights like the, the 50, 50 fights or the fights you're not sure about because they don't punch with enough power or whatever. And it's like, why even bet those? So 
yeah, yeah. it's about it's, a, it's another one of those fights where we're like well there's a lot of question marks we don't know exactly no shame in that we're just moving on yep to the next one like subscribe comment uh let's see that algorithm go in our favor in our favor all right appreciate you guys appreciate it